Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome to another sales update video. If you are new to this format, in these videos I show you what I sold, whether it was fixed price or best offer, the numbers as far as what I paid for it, the sale price and the profit per item, and how long it took to sell. The sales in these videos took place from March 15th through April 14th 2019 on my eBay store Atlanta Golf Shop. I've been an eBay seller since 2003. You can check out my feedback page here and see that I'm a real seller just like you and the purpose of this video is to show you what can be done with consistent effort over time if you just stick with the business and follow the rules. Anybody can do this. So we're going to get started. I sold this Chico's top for a best offer of $30. I paid $6.35. My profit was $20.46 and this sold in 12 days. And just a side note, I get most of my inventory from Goodwill stores and I'm showing you the price here including sales tax because the stores I go to charge sales tax. I don't have the reseller certificate simply because I tried that as far as uh, being exempt from paying sales tax on items and it was really more trouble than it was worth for the small amount of savings. My time was more valuable. I didn't want to waste time standing in the store waiting for them to get a manager because they in my experience did not know how to process that. Um, if you're going to places like Costco, Sam's Club, where they see that a lot, it's different. But where I go, it kind of made their heads explode. So that's why I'm showing you the price, including the tax on it. Because several of you have messaged me saying, why don't, why are you paying sales tax? And really, it's a, it comes down to my time is more valuable than having to wait for the employees who figure out how to process it. There's a lot of turnover in these thrift stores with employees so it just became very frustrating. So back to the video. <laughs> um, so this item took, let's see what did I say, 12 days to sell. It had 75 views and 5 watchers. Okay I paid two dollars for this item. It's a Dragon Keep sculpture which that's a whole line of these little dragon characters and I paid two dollars for this took a best offer of 20 profit was seventeen dollars and nineteen cents and it sold in one month it had 62 views and zero watchers so watchers don't matter um, if we compare this item which had zero watchers with the one before that had five watchers they had almost the same amount of views Yes, I realize that because I put my store out there and thousands of people see it in these videos, I'm going to have more watchers than the normal seller. But that's okay. I just I just factor that in. Some of these are real buyers. They're not just people watching me. So I do understand that. Okay, this Columbia PFG vented shirt. I paid $6.35. I took a best offer of $20. My profit was $11.64. It sold in two weeks. 22 views and one watcher. Interesting side note on this item is that it uh, sold to a buyer in Puerto Rico. I'm showing you the shipping workflow here because I want you to see there's nothing to fear, nothing to worry about, nothing to be concerned about with shipping to Puerto Rico. This is what the shipping workflow looks like. You do get this page that gives you a note that uh, it may require a customs form. I've never had it require one so all you do is check the bottom there that I've read the shipping restrictions and then your label printing page pops up and you just print it. So no problem there. Shipping Puerto Rico is just like shipping anywhere else. Please t sell to other uh, eBay buyers in Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico. There's no reason not to. Okay, this Ralph Lauren dress, size 16 women's, 
paid six dollars and thirty five cents it sold for forty four ninety seven profit was thirty dollars and sixty nine cents it sold in one week that was a full price sale and it had thirty eight views and four watchers this is a Millie of New York dress I got this one on a half price uh, color ticket for that day three dollars and forty two cents took best offer of thirty nine profit was twenty nine dollars and forty nine cents it sold in one week 16 views and one watcher so hardly any views on this and it sold pretty fast which tells me this is a sought-after brand look for it okay this is a Land's End brand tankini bathing suit top I paid five dollars for this took a best offer of twenty one dollars profit was thirteen dollars and ninety six cents sold in two months hundred and twenty views five watchers now let me go back to this Land's End a lot of you assume this brand is cheap and crappy because they had an association with Sears at one time I'm actually working on a course right now for my premium library explaining this brand and what items sell because I do sell this quite frequently you're gonna see this in my videos and so several of you have messaged me uh, or commented that why would you bother with this brand isn't this a cheap crappy Target or Sears brand and um, there's just there's just more you need to know about it before you draw that conclusion um, from your own experience with a brand and that's all I'm going to say here but uh, come to the premium library so you can take that course and learn about which of these items have worked for me in my history on eBay since 2003 long time okay this is an item that I, I was in my closet was tired of it paid zero dollars because I actually bought it for myself about five years ago and don't wear it anymore so it took a best offer of ten dollars just to move it on out pick up some extra money profit was nine dollars and forty three cents this sold in two and a half months hundred and four views two watchers this is a Ralph Lauren 100% linen top paid six dollars and thirty five cents took a best offer of twenty profit was eleven seventy five sold in two months this had eighty five views and three watchers this item was free somebody gave it to me that's the great thing about eBay selling on eBay can be a blessing or a curse it is a blessing when people give you stuff to sell because they know you're a seller it is a curse when people constantly ask you questions and you spend your time trying to help them and they don't take any action <laughs> so I've decided to focus on the blessing side of it and um, let people give me their stuff so this was zero dollars out of my pocket sold for 1997 full price profit was seventeen dollars and ninety cents and it sold in three months 120 views and one watchers this is an Athleta skirt paid six dollars and thirty five cents took an offer of thirty profit was twenty dollars and forty four cents it sold in one month 41 views and two watchers this was my biggest sale of the month Citron Santa Monica 1x top jacket paid six dollars and thirty five cents sold for seventy five on best offer profit was fifty nine dollars and forty five cents it sold in one month view count was ninety five views with five watchers Chico's size two sequin top paid six dollars and thirty five cents sold for full price of thirty four ninety seven profit was twenty five dollars and ninety one cents and this sold in six weeks 209 views six watchers this was another item free to me somebody cleaning out their closet gave it to me st. John I mean who gives you st. John to sell this is why it's great to be nice to people <laughs> because you never know when it's gonna come back and bless you <laughs> um, paid zero for this took an offer of thirty dollars profit was twenty five dollars and fifty one cents sold in one month I probably could have made more if I'd held out on this maybe sold it uh, closer to uh, before Valentine's Day because it's got the hearts on it or if it was uh, in the winter you know the dead of winter but you know it was free and they offered me 30 bucks so I took it 87 views and one watcher 
This item is a White House black market top embroidered. Paid $3.18, sold for $19.97. Profit was $14.88, sold in nine days. This had 38 views and four watchers. Okay, this is a vintage bird carving fork with what I thought was a mother of pearl handle. And I have a story on this, so hang on till the end. I'll tell you what happened. I paid $2, took an offer of $15, profit was $11.74. This sold in three months. 93 views and two watchers. This is um, a Land's End flannel shirt, size 8. Paid $6.30, sold for $25, profit was $16.16, sold in six weeks, 115 views, two watchers. Another Chico's item, this was a size 3 skirt, paid $6.30, took an offer of $30, profit was $20.48, sold in three months, 90 views, and three watchers. Another Chico's item. This was a long lace skirt, paid $6.30, sold for $25, profit was $17.21, sold in four days. 30 views and zero watchers. Coldwater Creek 3X sweater, new with tag, I paid $5 for this, it sold for $30, profit was $22.94, sold in three days and that had 20 views and zero watchers. This was actually an item I was selling for my son that uh, someone gave him. His friends are all into this computer stuff and they, um, one of them actually has like a computer lab in their house. They've made the basement into this thing where all the guys get together and do their computer stuff. Um, so somebody was just like, does anybody want this? So he brought it to me to sell. So zero dollars on the cost sold for thirty five dollars profit for my son was thirty two twenty nine this sold in two weeks twenty nine views and one watcher okay ann taylor skirt i paid three dollars and eighteen cents for this it sold for twenty nine eighty eight profit was twenty dollars and forty two cents this sold in three weeks sixty one views four watchers another ann taylor item this was a dress size sixteen I paid $5 for this, it sold for $34.97, profit was $24.40, this sold in five days for full price. 56 views and four watchers. I have another Chico's item, a size four, which are pretty rare to find. I paid $3.18 for this, it sold for $33.97, profit was $26.97, this sold in five weeks. 98 views and two watchers. Another Chico's item, just your basic uh, jacket, paid $6.35, sold for best offer of $17.97, profit was $11.84, sold in three months, and this had 127 views and five watchers. This Lily Pulitzer top was $5, sold for $20 on best offer, profit was $12. $12.95, it sold in one week. 38 views and two watchers. This is a Prana men's flannel shirt. I paid $6.35 for this. It sold for $30.70 on best offer. Profit was $22.92. It sold in two weeks. 22 views and zero watchers. This is a Jay McLaughlin dress. I paid $5 for this, sold for $32 on best offer, profit was $24.65, this sold in four days. And this had 14 views and one watcher. Another Chico's basic wardrobe staple type item, paid $3.18 for this, sold for $20, profit was $14.92, sold in one day, 10 views, three watchers. Chico's Energy Golf Skirt, I paid $6.35, sold for $18, profit was $9.28, this sold in three days. View count was 14 with two watchers. And wait, you get more Chico's. This is another top. This one I got at a church 
sale uh, a while back. I paid $1.60 for this, sold for $19 on best offer, profit was $15.55. It sold in three and a half months. This one had a little stain in the white area of the front and I worked on it with um, spray and wash a couple of times through the through the laundry just like two times through and it came out so um, you know that worked out good investment of my time and money on this item 102 watchers and I'm uh, sorry 102 views and one watcher okay Under Armour this is another brand I can flip pretty quickly um, don't make huge money on these but they are good quick consistent sellers this is a cold gear top I paid five dollars for this sold for 12 profit was six dollars and eight cents sold in two days and that's what I'm after here is the sold in two days part um, I'm not so much after the highest profit I can get because you do need these filler items in your store for a few reasons number one they're great feedback builders the more you sell the more feedback you're gonna get so that helps you as a seller to progress um, through your eBay journey also getting a sale of any dollar amount is gonna help you place higher in search because eBay search likes active stores so you can't just have your store full of all of these high profit hundred dollar items because you're not going to get sales very frequently so you have to mix it up with these things that sell quickly um, I always go back to either McDonald's or Walmart on this philosophy because if you look at McDonald's yeah everything in there's pretty cheap but they sell a lot of french fries you know they sell a lot of drinks it's not all the big sandwiches um, the big hamburgers that are the most expensive it's a lot they make their money on volume and diversity of product line so if you're new and just getting into this there are benefits to selling these lower profit items it's not always just about the bottom line you have to look at your the whole big picture of your business and throw these kind of items in so you can get more feedback so you can get more sales and that ramps up your entire store when you're constantly selling stuff every day um, oh I skipped this this had 22 views and two watchers okay another Athleta item this one was six dollars and thirty cents sold for 29 profit was nineteen dollars and eighty four cents sold in five weeks this had 81 views and four watchers another Chico's item paid six dollars and thirty cents for this it sold for 20 profit was 1124 and it sold in a month 79 views and one watcher here's another Under Armour item paid three dollars and eighteen cents for this sold for 14 profit was 955 and it sold in two days so Chico's and Under Armour sell pretty fast for me and that is that's by design I like that um, I'm not gonna hold out for months and months on a $20 item to get the full price um, another reason for that is there's just so much out there where this came from you don't need to hold on to things for very long so this item had 26 views and zero watchers another Chico's item I picked up this one because it was 100% silk and it was on the sale price. Paid $3.18, sold for $29.58. My profit was $23.33. It sold in two months. Um, for those of you new to eBay or wondering why people send these weird offer amounts, it's because they're looking at the cost of the shipping plus the cost of the item and they're trying to get it to come out to either whatever their budget is or an even number so when you go and print the label you'll see oh these the item price and the shipping cost adds up to $35 or some round number so that's why a lot of times you'll see these strange numbers for offers so this item had 208 views and two watchers yeah and that took two months to sell okay life is good t-shirt 
This was new with tag. I paid $3.18 for that. It sold for $16. Profit was $11.43 and it took three months to sell. It had 100 views and no watchers. I thought this dress was perfect for Easter. Michael Kors faux wrap dress and this particular style is very flattering to your figure. The faux wrap or like the Diane von Furstenberg wrap dresses uh, hide a multitude of sins. So they're flattering and it had the draped neckline so I just in the pretty green color. This was $5, sold for $25, profit was $17.44, it sold in 11 days and notice I did put Easter in the title. This had 30 views and no watchers. This is an Anthropology Maeve top. I paid $5 for this. It sold for $20. Profit was $12.95. This sold in two weeks. Had 44 views and two watchers. This is a J. Jill linen skirt. I paid $6.30. It sold for $19. Profit was $11.68. It sold in six weeks. 43 views and one watcher. This is a soft surroundings top. I paid $6.30 for this. It sold for $23. Profit was $14.39. It sold in three months. 203 views and one watcher. Here we have another Chico's item. This is just your basic top. I paid $6.30. It sold for $23. Profit was $14.39 and it sold in one week. View count was 38 with three watchers. This is another anthropology item. I paid $6.30 for this. It sold for $34. Profit was $23.99. This sold in two months. 264 views and two watchers. This was a really cute Brooks Brothers A-line dress. I did pay full price for this of $7.42. Took an offer of $45.88. Profit was $35.06. It sold in two months. 265 views and eight watchers. Now this was shipped to Hawaii and um, just showing you here, got good feedback on that. Don't be afraid to ship to Hawaii. There is nothing to worry about. Uh, check out my video with Brian who lives in Hawaii and uh, explains all about how they are just starving for people to ship to them. <laughs> okay, this is a Cabbie brand eyelet skirt. I paid $3.18. It sold for $21. Profit was $15.71. It sold in two months. 68 views and zero watchers. These were some fun Fila Skeletos five finger shoes. Paid $2 for these. They sold on full price for $24.97. Profit was $20.33. These sold in two and a half months. 173 views and two watchers. This was an O'Neill men's hat. It was actually made of paper, uh, like raffia, not straw. I paid $3 for this. It sold for $20. Profit was $15.79. It sold in nine days. 22 views and zero watchers. Eileen Fisher sweater. I paid $3.18 for this. It sold for $30. My profit was $23.61. It sold in two weeks. 69 views and seven watchers. Another Chico's item. $3.18. It sold for $29.97 on full price. I think because of the color. A little unusual there to have that really bright color. Profit was $23.48. It sold in two days, 15 views and no watchers. These are some Neo Treasure shoes and I just noticed in this picture the, sho the plastic feet are two different colors so apparently one was getting more light than another and is faded. Um, I like using these for sandals because the straps flop over in the picture. So you can order these on eBay. You can get them in clear or the colored. Just do a search for plastic mannequin feet. You can get these for less than $3, including shipping. So a nice little tool to have if you are selling sandals, um, 
so it can show how it actually looks on the foot. Okay, um, these were $3.47, sold for $49.97. Profit was $39.41, despite the two different colored feet in the picture. And these sold in one day. 18 views and one watcher. This was a beautiful anthropology hazel top. A beautiful beading on it. I thought the... Um, I didn't even have to look at the brand. I was like, this will sell because of the beautiful colors and the contrast with the black. It was kind of chiffon material. Lots of interesting things going on with this top. It was $6.35, sold for $30. Profit was $20.41, and it sold in three hours. So I was very happy with that. Only had 12 views and one watcher. These were some Levi's men's denim jeans. I just picked these up because they were new with tag and a larger size. These were $4.50, took an offer of 20. Profit was $11.44 and this sold in four months. 101 views and one watcher. Okay, this is a 100% cashmere sweater by Ralph Lauren. I paid $6.35 for this, sold it for 50. Profit was $41.06. It sold in three weeks. Now, um, well, let me tell you, the, the view count was 141. The watchers were two. Now, you'll see I had this priced at $64.97 because I have sold this type of item for that much. But I kept getting lower offers. So here are the offers that were submitted um, over the three weeks that it was listed. 25 36 20 and then I got a $50 offer which was the highest offer I'd had the whole time so I went ahead and took that to get it sold since I only paid a little over six dollars for it and had a buyer right there ready to pay 50 I accepted their offer okay this is an Ann Taylor dress I paid four dollars and 42 cents for this sold it for 19 on best offer Profit was $13.80. This sold in a month. 108 views and three watchers. Another anthropology item. I paid $6.35 for this. It sold for $19. Profit was $10.80. Sold in a month. 62 views and <clears throat> excuse me, no watchers. Another anthropology item. This one I paid $3.18, took, uh, oh, it sold for full price of $34.97. Profit was $27.73, it sold in a month. 112 views and four watchers. Another Athleta item. You'll see that I'm doing the same brands over and over, and that's the consistency of the business. You learn what sells and what brands to sell and which ones sell faster, which sizes sell faster, which colors sell faster. So after a while you get into a rhythm with this of selling the same brands over and over again and then consistently adding to your knowledge with new things that you're seeing. So this I paid $3.18 for. It sold for $34.70. Profit was $27.74 and it sold in six weeks. 71 views and four watchers. Now here's an interesting item. This brand is called Universal Thread and that is a Target brand. Okay, I picked this up because um, this day Goodwill was having a sale on all long sleeve tops so my cost was a little bit lower on things. Um, but I would have bought it anyway um, because it's nautical. It has this interesting front twist thing at the bottom. It was brand new with tag and the material was stretchy and it felt uh, durable. So I just had a gut feeling it would sell and it was new with tag. It had the target tag and the universal thread tag on it. Um, so I went with my gut on that. This sold for $19.97. Profit was $15.86. It sold in four days. It had 17 views with one watcher. So even what you might consider a low cost, low uh, quality item, they still sell and you can still make money. It's all about choosing the right ones. 
Okay, this was a St. John Santana knit skirt. I paid $3.18 for this. It sold for $35. Profit was $31.03. It sold in three months. And I did have it priced kind of high because I wanted to see what kind of offers came in. This was the highest offer I got on this item over the history of having it listed. Um, and it, you know, it wasn't a suit, it wasn't a dress, it was very plain and basic. Your St. John items are going to sell for more when they are, you know, interesting color block uh, patterns or have the interesting buttons on them or it's the suit or a dress. So I went with the 35 on this. Profit was 31.03 and I only had 12 views. So, oh, this was one I relisted. So yeah, I did take that down and list it over again. So you can see it was started on... Sunday April 7th and sold on Tuesday the 9th so I did it had a lot of views on it so I took it down and started it over again okay this is a Chico's top I paid six dollars and thirty five cents for this it sold for 18 profit was nine dollars and thirty five cents it sold in three weeks 45 views no watchers this is a Wrangler Western shirt this was kind of an experiment to see uh, how much this would sell for. <laughs> I paid $3.18. It sold for $14.97. Profit was $10.40. It sold in two weeks. I picked this up because it was just a bright color. And I live in a county that's a big horse community. So I'm starting to see more of these things in different areas of the county that I go to and thought, you know, this is something I've never really explored are these Western shirts. So I'm going to see how I can do with that. So this had 19 views and no watchers. This was another item that was free to me. I paid zero dollars, sold for 10. These are Columbia cropped hiking pants. So my profit was nine dollars and 43 cents and it sold in a week with 19 views and no watchers. This is another item that was free to me. Banana Republic top. I paid zero for this. It sold for $11.55. Profit was $10.71. It sold in a month. 78 views and two watchers. Okay, we're getting to the end of these, so just hang in there with me. Eileen Fisher, size extra large top. I paid $5 for this. It sold for $39. My profit was $30.74. It sold in seven days. This had 41 views and one watcher. And then the last item was this Fila women's running top. I paid $5 for this. It sold for $15. Profit was $8.60. It sold in one month. 27 views and no watchers. Now let's talk about things I had to refund for or that were returned and I'm going to start including that in these videos so that you can get the full picture of what happened. <laughs> so the buyer contacted me about this bird carving fork and she said the carving fork is not mother of pearl it's plastic what do you want to do let me know and so I was like okay how do they know this because I did my research and I tried to figure out what that material was made of. I didn't realize it could be plastic. And I said, hello, thank you for contacting us. Could you please help us understand how you came to this determination that the handle is not plastic? She says, well, I just know I've been in the business for at least 30 years. You can heat a straight pen and touch the handle and if it smells like plastic, it is. So I'm going to chalk this one up to education because that's a very important tip I did not know to do. So for I didn't realize this could be plastic. I thought it was either going to be Bakelite or Mother of Pearl. So I thanked her for educating me on that and just refunded her the full amount because um, she obviously knows more than me. I'll be the first one to admit I know clothing, but I certainly am not an expert in anything else. Um, I'm not even an expert in clothing. I just have learned a lot along the way. So that was one refund. And then this item was returned. The free returns amount was $7.55. So I just listed it again. No big deal. 
Another item that was returned was this Maeve Anthropology dress and you can see there that the refund amount was $20 plus $3.63 for a total of $23.63 so that includes the free return amount so I just listed that again. So here you can see on my eBay statement where the amount for the free returns comes out. That is deducted as soon as the buyer initiates the return process on the free returns if you that's the way you have it set up. So you can always go in here and see the amount that's being deducted so you can take that into consideration when doing your numbers. I'm totally in favor of free returns as far as the reward is much greater than the risk. You can see here that it only cost me $11.18 for free returns on this eBay store and it's pretty much the same on my other store too and you can also see that I sell a lot of clothing so I'm just not getting people taking advantage of this free return thing. It, it's my philosophy that people buy things because they want to use them and keep them. So I feel like I know this business well enough to be able to sell a large percentage of my items are clothing and a very small percentage are getting returned. So the reward is greater than the risk and for 11 bucks I'm being more competitive, I'm offering better service and it's real it's not hurting me at all. Okay, so let's go look at the numbers. Here is my tracking spreadsheet where I've got the item name, cost, sale price and profit. And this is sorted in descending order from highest to lowest profit. So you can pause the video, take a screenshot, look through this to get an idea of what are my highest profit items. So I'm just going to scroll through these here if you want to take a look at that and pause the video. And then we get down to the returns and refunds added into that so you can see the actual bottom line for the month. So my total refunds were $89.10 which brought down my profit to $1154.24. So one thing that I'm looking at here is how much money did it take for me to make that profit number. So let's go through everything here for those of you analytical people who like this stuff. I know for others of you it makes you want to tear your hair out and stab your eyes out with forks but <laughs> as my, my daughter Melanie says uh, that's too much math for me just you know sell a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I like to break it down though so we can look at exactly what's happening. So I sold 63 items in this store during that time frame it cost me $272.92 for those items. My sales was $1,686.90. My profit, now this is not including the re returns and refunds, I'm just strictly looking at sales here. Profit was $1,243.34 with an average profit of $19.73 per item. Those of you who have been paying attention will see that my average profit did drop from March to April and even previous months because I am really trying to grow that bottom line profit number and for me it's gonna just be volume it, I'm just gonna have to do more so I did accept more offers and I'm experimenting with my store in front of all of you <laughs> so that you can see how these things work and it's going to be different for everybody it depends on what you sell how much your inventory costs the time of year there's just a lot of different factors so let me show you the changes here between March and April because I am experimenting with how I can get that profit number up my cost for inventory went up $96.78. Sales went up $466.20 and profit increased 
$8.04. My average profit per item did drop, but this is proving to me that for my business model, for my store, for the way I shop, for what I sell, it's I need more volume to get where I want to be. So I did sell 11 items at full price, which was 17% of my items and 52 items on best offer. So that was 83% of my stuff I sold on best offer. So that's interesting. But this also goes to show that you still need to go in with a high number because sometimes you get it, but you've also got to be willing to entertain best offers because overall, when you look at the whole big picture, it can make your bottom line profit go up. And some of you liked this feature I included last time, items less than $25, because I want to show you that this is not all about the huge big scores and selling things for really high prices. It's about how things add up over time. So I sold 49 items that were under $25. So that's 78% of what I sold. And the cost of those items was $215.78. Some of them were free, so that brings the cost down. But my profit on items less than $25 sale price was $780. Now, that's a lot of money. For some people, that's their rent, or that's two months of car payments, or it could be anything. So you want to look at it as what is that money paying for? What's it doing for your life? And some of you also want to know, how much feedback am I supposed to be getting? Well, people just don't leave it anymore. I had 63 sales, but I only got 17 feedbacks. So that was 37% of buyers. And I leave it for everyone. As soon as they pay, I leave feedback. So I'm taking the initiative to, to try and nudge them to leave feedback. But I have learned in the past that you don't want to ask people for it because they may find it annoying. They may come up with a reason to leave you a negative or a neutral. So in my world, uh, no news is good news on feedback. Just, just keep listing and keep selling. And this will also, you'll get more feedback over time if you sell more of those low dollar items take lower offers to get rid of things you know it's a sale and so that has the potential for feedback so the takeaways from this video are look at your overall volume and profit if you want to increase the dollars look at what you're doing now and see how you can improve that focus on what you can control which is listing and accepting offers those are two things you can do to make more money if you're backlogged with your listing, check out my virtual assistant program. The link is below where we can help you list your items and you can offload that task to somebody else and you can focus on shopping, taking pictures, and list uh, shipping your items when they sell. Now, I'm going to end here with a couple of quotes for you to get your mind in the right place about this business. This is from the beloved Wayne Dyer, who is no longer with us, but I still love his work and I do miss him. <laughs> I went and saw him twice at conferences and really enjoyed uh, being in the audience and hearing him speak. Abundance is not something we acquire, it's something we tune into. It's there. All this stuff is out there. It's just waiting for you to come buy it and list it on eBay. So you can have it. It's there for you and anybody can do this. Another quote is, act as if everything you desire is already here. Treat yourself as if already you already are what you'd like to become. So, you know, maybe fake it till you make it if you want to call it that. But everything you need for this business is already here. I had an interesting conversation with a friend who is getting into eBay, seller, eBay selling the other day. And he was talking about um, he had been out thrifting and this person lives in my area so we run into each other sometimes at the thrift stores and he was saying how he discovered this new brand to sell and how excited he was I'm like oh really what is it and he was like I'm not going to tell you because then you'll 
um, creep in on my business and you'll steal all the sales because you're going to know what this is. And he was very threatened by the fact that if he uh, shared information with me that you know I would outdo him on eBay somehow and it's like that was the most ridiculous comment because there is so much abundance out out there you have to get out there and find the stuff you have to know it's worth selling so telling people what brands to sell what kinds of things to sell um, I'm completely not threatened by that at all because you can't be in every single thrift store in your area all the time every day for the hours they're open getting this stuff there's plenty of it out there for everyone and I feel like the flow of information just helps people make more money and you know someone else's abundance and success is not going to affect mine because it's it's there for everybody so don't feel threatened that people are other resellers are out there are taking your stuff and there's not going to be enough because when you get into that lacking lack mindset where there's not enough that's what you're going to get you just have to tune into abundance because it's there it's there for everyone and someone else's success is not going to affect yours um, also an update on the premium content library as of today April 16th 2019 there are 152 videos and 55 hours of education 55 hours a lot of stuff in there so if you haven't checked it out yet please do also with that membership you get me as your personal help desk via email so any questions you have problems you have issues with customers can't get eBay help can't get the right answer you want can't get your problem solved you just email me and I help you within 24 hours usually much less than that so thank you for watching this video and I hope some of these sales and commentary has helped you with your business please leave me a comment below I see you're watching and I'd love to get your comments or at least a like on the video that you enjoyed it Thanks for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.